Hello, I'm Jake, Mr. Jake, and I'd like to recommend a movie. Today we'll be looking at yet another French film, but this time we're moving away from Luc Besson's 90s classics to a film from the greatest decade in history called Le Professionnel, which translates to The Professional. No, this is not French Dirty Harry. hit in France, this movie features one of France's biggest stars in the 80s, Jean-Paul Belmondo as the title character, and Robert Hossein as the hero of the story, Inspector Rosanne. The good inspector is a specialist assigned with the task of taking down Belmondo's character Jocelyn Beaumont, a government-trained hitman who intends to murder the president of an African country during his visit to Paris. So, like in Leon and Nikita, we have a film where the title character is the villain. French movies are weird. The backstory is that two years before the events of the movie, Beaumont is sent to Africa by the French government to assassinate President Nijala, a ruthless dictator. While that seems like a good idea, by the time he arrives the political situation changes and they no longer want Nijala dead. So instead of calling him back, the Secret Service decides to sell Bowman out to Nijala. Thus he ends up imprisoned in a quarry after a mock trial. However, he manages to escape and returns to Paris right on time to attempt finishing what he started. Our hero, Inspector Rosen, is a brutally efficient police officer whose job is to stop Bowman from committing this heinous act of breaking the law. He is a brilliant detective who, much like 24's Jack Bauer or Leon's Stansfield, does not shy away from more than ruthless methods as long as he achieves the desired results. Roseanne is also an artist, in more ways than one, as he makes beautiful drawings during boring meetings with his superiors. Honestly, I would be honored to have Inspector Roseanne on my show to make illustrations. I could certainly use someone like him. What makes the film more than a little odd is that the hero is hardly in the movie for half of it, first showing up after almost the first half hour is over. The villain gets most of the screen time instead. I don't know if that's because Belmondo is such a big star or because the director wanted to focus on the bad guy, but the movie would have benefited from more scenes of Inspector Roseanne. Yet, that takes nothing away from Belmondo's performance as he shows in this movie how much he earned his cult status as one of France's biggest movie stars in history. He is absolutely stunning in the role of Major Beaumont, bringing an intensity to the screen that captivates the viewer from start to finish. Furthermore, let's be fair with Beaumont. Yes, He's a killer and he wants to murder someone in cold blood as a villain stand to, but honestly, it's very easy to understand his motivations. That's possibly the second biggest merit of this movie, that it explains Bowman's actions in great detail and refuses to outright vilify him despite that he clearly is the bad guy. Let's face it, in his place, quite a lot of people would do the same thing. Go on, ask yourself. What would you do if your boss sold you out to your enemies and you ended up in a quarry for two years? See? You'd go on a killing spree just like everybody else. Hell, I certainly would, and I'm not even a hitman, retired or otherwise. I'm a peaceful person. Bowman's character is not only intense but infinitely complex as well. He cheats on his wife like an asshole, yet he cares for his wife as he protects her from Rosen and his subordinates. Yet, you've certainly noticed that I called it the portrayal of Bowman only the second biggest merit of the film. Its biggest merit is its best scene. A scene that outdoes even the best moments of my favorite movie, Leon. 
The scene where Bowman and Roseanne stand face to face in a classic showdown between the villain and the hero. Somewhat like in a classic western movie, complete with revolvers and bone-chilling music by Ennio Morricone. Yet, it's not a carbon copy of the final showdown in every spaghetti western ever made, as a flower delivery boy makes it unique and infinitely more suspenseful. It's a masterpiece of cinema, easily the best scene in Le Professionnel, but quite possibly also the very best scene in the history of French cinema as a whole. If for no other reason, for the sake of this one scene, you have to watch this film. Overall, I love this movie quite a bit, but it does have a couple of flaws. For starters, it needed much more Inspector Roseanne, as I mentioned earlier. Furthermore, this movie gives a very poor depiction of how assassins operate. Bowman is a professional, always one step ahead of everybody else, yes, yet he never uses silencers and does an extremely poor job planning his escape both in Africa during the prelude and in France during his attempt at taking revenge twice. A real hitman would never allow himself to get compromised like that. So if any of you want to see a hitman tutorial, this isn't the movie for you. Then again, I take that back. It is the movie for you. It teaches you how not to do it. So go watch this movie if you want to be a hitman. Not that I'm suggesting that you should be a hitman or anything, it's, uh, it's not a respectable profession after all. I'm just saying that if you wanted to, you get my meaning. In any case, go watch this movie. If for nothing more, watch it for the duel between Roseanne and Beaumont. You'll not find a better duel in any other movie. But you might. One day, if somebody makes a movie out of a certain novel, fingers crossed. <laughs>